Hello students, today in this particular session, we guys are going to cover a very, very important exam, Comet K, very, very important, there are 20,000 seats and a lot of good colleges are also under this bracket. It's a entrance exam for top colleges of Karnataka. Remember, there are two entrances for Karnataka state itself, one is Comet, one is also KSET, right? So admissions happen through both the exams, but this is the more prestigious exam, Comet K, because of the top universities lying here. So, jaldi se baat karenge, aaj hum Comet K, the pattern, right, the top colleges, we will not get in depth, but just to give you an idea, and then the most important part where we will spend our time is that what is the paper pattern, what are the top important chapters that you should focus your energy on in order to get a high score at Comet K. And remember the Comet K dates have been announced, the registration process has started, so make sure if you want to write Comet K, you should fill the form out. So Comet K exam is computer based. Physics, chemistry, maths, exam duration is 3 hours, number of questions is 180, so that is where the game lies here, speed game, 180 minutes, 180 questions, marking scheme is plus 1, no negative, 60 in each subject, that means, and with no negative marking, multiple choice questions, and the test centers are all across India, you can take comment key examination from different, different parts of the country, it is not that you have to come to Karnataka only to write this particular exam, right? So, the distribution is 60 marks in physics, 60 marks in chemistry, 60 marks in math, that is 60 questions each, 60 marks each, 180 marks, 180 questions, and you have to secure at least 50% in the 12th board, that is what is the basic eligibility criteria for Comet K. Now, Comet K, marks versus rank, and you can let us know in the comment section if the, these are correct or not, because these are, might be one up and down, right? So, First 10 ranks, you almost have to secure more than 170 marks. 11 to 50, 169 to 160, which is very high. Why I tell you? Because the examination level is not very high. So you can actually score very good marks in Comet with a good level of preparation for JE main. So bahut sare bachche jo JE ki tayari karte hain, usi ke examination ke base pe you can actually crack a good, good percent here at Comet K. Right. So till 1700, you can expect at 120. Why we guys are going that low? I'll tell you. Now the top three colleges that come under the Comet K bucket are RV College of Engineering, very very good college guys, one of the best in South, uh, and uh, most of the seats are taken through uh, Comet K, very limited seats. And the closing rank, we guys are showing you the closing rank for general merit GM, which you will see for round three. And these data are all for CS branch. There are a lot of branches available. Uh, we are not getting in depth of that what happened, but I'm just giving you an idea that how competitive it is with respect to the CS branch. So RV closes at 355. BMS, this uh, second college at Bangalore, closes at 620. This is the rank at Comed K examination. And uh, uh, MS Ramaya, again, Bangalore, all three are situated in Bangalore, are at, it stops at 860. This is the round 3. If any round happened after that, you will see slight change, but I don't think for computer science, there will be much of a change happening here. All three very, very famous in South. Very, very good placements for all the three. Just to give you an idea, I can make a separate video on the colleges also. You can let us know in the comment section if that is a requirement at your end. Now, if you just talk about the RV College of Engineering Bangalore, which is the top shot in terms of the Comet K and Karnataka, uh, total number of companies is about 280, offers made were 1262, highest was 53.18, median package was 8.93, average was 8.63. So almost you can understand that 8.5 is the average packet that you can get or a median packet that you can get from RV. And yes, it has a very strong alumni base, very well known network in South. I'll try to tell you that in some other video that for a college, if you have to check its quality, the quality of the college is with regard to its alumni base, not with regard to any placements or the tag name it gets. If it is a tag name, the tag name would only be because of its the alumni base, right? So that is why you should consider a college with a good alumni base uh, as compared to one who has a higher uh, placement, right? So these are the stats for 2020 and 21, right? This year, it might have changed. The tuition fee for Comet seat, this depends again, varies from college to college, but on an average, it can give you an idea that 2 lakh 20,000 per year will be the tuition fee and it depends how it comes. But now we tell the most important part that is the detailed analysis of Comet K exam. Over the last five years, what has happened in Comet K? Uh, that is what we are going to discuss today. 
Uh, if you want a PDF of this particular session, which I'm showing at the back, join the Telegram group, which is in the description box. That is where you will get the Comet K PDF that is there at the back. So if we talk about a difficulty weightage, easy, moderate and tough, 12% of the questions were tough in the last five years on an average. I then can tell you it's an easy exam. It is not a tough exam at all. So if I say 2017, 2018, 19, 20, 21, so this blue line is easy, moderate and tough. You see, this is only one of those exams where easy and moderate are same, same, right? So almost, if you see, there were a lot of easy questions that have come in the examination, almost equal, right? So that is where it gives you a very good importance. This, this line shows the number of questions that came in this uh, bucket, right? Chemistry ki baat kare, chemistry ki paper ki baat kare, the trend has been that 50% of the questions were tough in 2000, 5% sorry, were only tough. So, or kam ho This part is the tough part. Not even, uh, only I guess out of 60, 11 questions were uh, maybe uh, tough. That is what we can say. Uh, sorry, not, that was for this, there we went. 5% were only tough. So, I guess only 2 or 3 questions will be tough. Most of them were the in the moderate section, right? And there were easy questions also, 20 were easy and rest of the paper was moderate. Whereas in terms of physics, if we talk about 57% of the paper was in the easy category. That is where the game changes. If you compare it with other examinations like JE mains, for example, physics actually is the only exam I think with regard to JE that physics come tough or at least balanced. Otherwise, every competitive exam that you will see, physics generally is very basic in nature as compared to JE main. So that is where you get scoring opportunity. 57% paper was easy, specifically in 2021, which was not the case earlier. Now if we talk about mathematics, mathematics has 12% only of the only was the question which were tough. So here also the math is not tough. Moderate becomes a bit high, but not that too high. All right. So for us, this bit a easy bit. So it is not a If we talk about the class-wise weightage, guys, class-wise is how much is so class 11th and class 12th weightage ki agar hum baat karte hain, and this I guess we have made with respect to the NCRT curriculum, right? So make sure that do not compare it with your uh, Karnataka, but NCRT textbook order. So class 12th weightage, 97 questions and 83, right? This was the split here, right? So out of 180 questions, you can see 97 were from class 12th, right? So which is fair enough, right? So you can say 55, 45 or 57, 43 percent weightage, which is again very similar to the JE main scenario. Now class 11th, 45 percent was class 11th, 55 percent was class 12th and this almost varies like this only plus 2 uh, here and there. Physics, uh, class 11th ki baat kare, class 11th physics mein aur kam ho jata hai. Good part is in physics, the class 12th weightage is 63 percent as compared to class 11th, which is almost like 37 percent. In chemistry, it's balanced. Class 12, 54. Class 11, 46. In maths, it's even more equal. Class 12 is 48. Class 11 is 52.3%. Now, weightage of the units, if we talk about how the uh, internal units are spread. In chemistry, 43% com paper comprises of physical chemistry. Now, this is something which is a bit different from J main scenario. J main generally tend to divide them equally one third. Here, more preference is being given to physical chemistry, which makes it both ways that it the paper might become a bit lengthy, but will be highly scoring also because physical chemistry is something which a lot of people generally are able to get hold of. People generally do not do good at organic or inorganic, right? This is my understanding. You can tell me in the comment section if I am wrong on this, right? So uh, organic is 30%, inorganic is 27%. Physics, if we talk about, Good point was 60% paper comprised of mechanics and electromagnetism. This is very much similar to JE mains, right? JE mains also you will find that these two units comprise of the maximum bucket. Electromagnetism comprises of 31% paper. Mechanics comprises of 16 and there is mechanics too. So if you combine both of them, 28% paper comprises of mechanics. Good point here also, modern physics, 13% weightage within just three chapters. So this is again, I think a very scoring opportunity. Optics. 12%, thermodynamics 8%, very, very similar to what you see in JE mains. So if you are preparing good for JE mains, I think this should go very well for you as well. Mathematics, if we talk about 61% paper comprised of algebra and calculus, almost again very similar to uh, what you get at uh, JE mains. JE mains mein 33% is algebra. Here also 30% is algebra and 31% is calculus, almost of the same order. 
coordinate geometry is 17, 16 to 17 percent. Vector is a bit less here, whereas the weightage of vector is high in J. But yes, only two chapters are there, so you can expect to get better returns from there, right? Trigonometry has better weightage than vector in this particular exam than J means, right? So that is the difference. But yes, the level of the question will not be higher than J means, which is the positive point. Now, weightage of the chapters, let's bring another further down. Sir, what are the most important chapters? So the top 10 chapters, which cover 50% of the weightage, let me count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I guess. Only 9 chapters cover 50% of the weightage in physics examination. So current electricity, 23 total questions have been asked in the last 5 years. Okay, uh, I guess we have taken it for last, uh, how many, 3 years, I guess, for this particular statistics. Yeah, for chapter wise statistics, we have taken it for the last 3 years. That is what we guys have done. So uh, last 3 years, 23 Electrostatics 22, 21 in this, wave optics 2019, ray optics, nuclear physics, magnetic effects of current, atomic. So if you just notice, atomic dual particle nature, that is modern physics, ray optics, wave optics, optics, very few chapters can give you immediately 50% of the weightage of the examination. That is, if you can do well, this is going to help you. We are going to give you the others also. All the others are given, physics, entire weightage. Whereas if you see work power energy, oscillations, motion in 2D. So even inside mechanics, if you want to leave something, then these are the two chapters which you will definitely love to leave here. Okay. Now we talk about chemistry. Chemistry, mein dekhe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 chapters again comprise of 50% weightage of the examination. Highest being GOC, chemical bonding, DNF, thermodynamics, Biomolecules, uh, mole concept, coordination compound, LDI ketone, solution. And good point is, all these are important with regard to J means also. I guess almost of the same order. Coordination compound is also there. GOC is also there. So very well balanced paper again with regard to J means. So if you are preparing well for J means, I believe you should be able to get good marks at chemistry in Comet K as well. So these nine pay, uh, chapters comprise of 50% weightage. Can you imagine? This very high weightage that we guys are talking about. Uh, now, if you notice other chapters, we guys have again give you the list which you guys can follow. Uh, if we talk about maths, maths, for math, you have to do a lot of more chapters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 chapters for 50% weightage. What are those complex number, indefinite, basic of mathematics? They ask you a lot of questions on inequalities, logarithms, basics, right? Uh, circle. Application of derivative. Trigonometry is something which comes very high in this as we have seen in the graph also earlier. Vector algebra, straight line, matrices, definite and binomial theorem. Again, very, very similar. They are two anomalies. Generally, we do not give very high weightage to indefinite, basic of mathematics, circle, uh, trigonometry with regard to J means. These are some exceptions in Comet. But that is what is there in front of you. So you can plan your preparation according to this particular schedule, which is there in front of you, which chapters to do, when what order to do, so that you can get benefited, right? Another chap uh, Other chapters of math are as follows. You can again get the list. We'll give you the PDF of all this, this entire PDF in the Telegram group, maybe not immediately, but after two, three hours. Now, this is what has happened that Comet K has given its date. The registration have already started March 14th and registration closes on 2nd of May, right, 2022. Date of examination is 19th June. So again, no interference of J mains in this particular exam. So your J mains will get over if the second session does not get postponed, right, or there is any further change. This should be very well placed exam and you can really very well crack it. There will be two slots again, since it's an online exam, 9 to 12 and 230 to 530. It's a computer-based exam, so you should practice more and more tests on computer level. Remember, what has happened, If we have, we have to give you exam tips. One per question, you are getting one minute, right? 180 questions, 180 uh, minutes. So that means it becomes a speed game. Good point is questions are formula and memory based from NCRT, specifically for physics and chemistry, right? So that is where it becomes very high, very high scoring opportunity. And that is why you will see the cutoffs are also very high in terms of number. And also there is no negative marking, right? The questions are simple with no negative marking, which makes the cutoff even higher, right? 
so you have to just practice in the timed format and that is where we expect that you should solve more and more mocks as as in when the exam comes closer uh, getting under a thousand rank is easy if you put efforts in the right direction that is what you guys should try and aim to do what we guys are going to do we are working on comment k test series also at the quizzer platform but we need that you should give us that you are looking for this kind of a test series because it takes effort from our end to filter questions and work and make a relevant test series for comment k but yes a lot of you have asked us about this so fill the google form in the description box to let us know your intention that you are willing to pay for a paid online test series for comment k that is how we'll get to know that whether we should work on it or not once we get enough number of you know uh, queries in this particular form we'll immediately start working on it and we'll make sure that we get to you uh, within a good time frame also we guys are working on the paper folna hai to baat karenge hi karenge but we guys are also working on the marks app to put comment k previous year question bank on the marks app yes so we guys are not leaving anything for you guys we just want that you should prepare very well and give every exam with full power on mode theek hai na so it will come in marks app also you can ask for the test series also whatever you want prepare it but do crack the exam do paper folna hai all right guys i hope these kind of videos are helping you let us know in the comment section what is still bothering you and if there is anything which we need to cover with respect to comment k let us know in the comment box so that we can come back to you god bless keep working hard paper folna hai hamesha ke liye